Hi there, I'm Michael Bovey with Consumer Recovery Network, and I'm back to talk about debt buyers and what kind of debts get sold. So this question comes to me sometimes in the comments on our YouTube videos, sometimes through our website. And the debt types that get sold, it's almost all types of debt get sold, corporate debt, but mainly we focus on personal debt here. So as I'm recording this video during um, April of 2020, not many debts are sold and, and debts stopped being as, as sold um, about 10 years ago. And the industry has consolidated to about 60 to 70% of debt sales go to just a handful of debt buyers. The people like uh, Midland Funding, um, Portfolio Recovery Associates, LVNV, Resurgent Capital, um, uh, Calvary. So these debt buyers that buy up mostly credit card debt there are only a couple of banks selling right now. So some banks have never sold debt, like American Express, at least not in the United States. Um, a, a whole host of, of places have sold debt, but not sold it for 10 years, right? Um, Chase used to sell a bunch of debt. They haven't sold since 2013. Then there's debts that are like your mortgage, right? During the housing-led recession, we saw a, quite a bit of debt sales on these second mortgages and these HELOCs, right? These underwater HELOCs, the place gets foreclosed, you do a promissory note, is another form of unsecured debt off of a secured debt, all sold to Dyke O'Neill, and they're trying to collect on these things. I expect to see some of that again. Not right away during this COVID-19 related economic downturn and job losses, um, people are on forbearance with their mortgages and so they're good until those forbearance opportunities end and they may not be back to full employment. And so I expect even more foreclosures and some of that secondary market to buy up that bad debt. What about auto loans that can't be paid anymore because of the unemployment situation? When you have a repossession, they take the vehicle, they auction it, what they get at auction is applied to your loan balance, what's left over is called a deficiency balance, and those things can be sold to debt buyers. I expect to see some more of that. So from a consumer loan perspective, we're usually talking about credit cards, personal loans, oh, personal loans, okay, well, some of the personal lenders, um, one in particular, one of the, uh, peer-to-peer -peer lenders just laid off over 400 people just a couple of days ago. The, the, the market is shrinking in that regard too. Some of these personal loans get sold off to some of the debt buyers that I mentioned and even some more niche kind of um, uh, selective buyers that only buy up that kind of you know upstart unpaid loans and SoFi and things like that. So all of this stuff gets sold off to debt buyers. Now, why do you care? Well, 10 years ago or so when I started making these videos, debt buyers collected a little bit differently, a little bit more aggressively, broke some rules, there was some regulation, there was the CFPB, this industry is condensed, like I said, it opens up a different kind of opportunity for you to resolve a debt if you're gonna sell, right? So if you're gonna do some kind of nonprofit credit counseling agency on a debt sale, there's a little opportunity or a little benefit to it because those kind of plans are really about interest rate concessions and payment plans that stretch out over five years there's a place for it but for most of us if we're dealing with debt buyers that we already gave up our credit score and there's no reason to try to pay them everything um, try and save some money right so if you're gonna settle debt with debt buyers sometimes you have more of an opportunity than you may have had with your original creditor because some of these debt buyers and some of the names that I mentioned will work with you and stretch out your payments on a reduced balance payoff and give you a year to pay two years to pay three years to pay and these kind of things make it so that you can avoid being sued by these places because they are aggressive. Almost all debt buyers will at some point sue people and some of them sue a bunch of people, like a third of the debts that they buy, the accounts that they buy. So you have an opportunity to hit, kind of head that off, negotiate an outcome, and then with these terms, make it so that you're paying off and you know improve your credit after you're done with it and avoid court. So that's the kind of debts that get sold that you can look for. The debt buying names are very, very common. If you have somebody that's contacting you about a debt and you're wondering if they're a debt buyer or just a run of the mill collection agency or a law firm or whatever, go ahead and post the name of the entity that's trying to collect from you in the comments below. And I'll tell you whether they're just a buyer. If some, there's very few both that collect for other people uh, and they still own the debt and then also buy their own debt. But uh, I'll tell you, what you're dealing with, and oftentimes I can give you an estimate of what you should shoot for in your goal. If you're the kind of person that would rather have a professional do that kind of thing for you, in the video description below, there's a link to schedule a call with me or one of the other experts, and we can walk you through how to get help. And it's affordable. See you on the next video.